Hi everyone, this is Lyle from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. In this video, we're going to set up an experiment that will help you discover one of the main things that contributes to sea level rise. Maybe you've heard that melting ice adds to sea level rise, but did you know that the warming of ocean water also raises the sea level? As temperatures around the planet rise, the temperature of ocean water also rises. This causes something called thermal expansion. Thermal expansion causes the volume of water, or the amount of space it takes up, to increase. You can make a model at home to demonstrate this phenomenon using some simple items you might have around the house. Start by gathering your materials. You'll need a water bottle. I'm using a recyclable bottle, but reusable ones made out of thick, sturdy plastic work too. You'll also need a clear plastic drinking straw, clay, putty, or a similar soft, flexible sealant to seal the top of the bottle, a marking pen, and a ruler if you have one. To add heat, you'll need a heat pad, a heat lamp, or an incandescent light bulb. If you don't have any of those, sunlight works too. If you have a kitchen thermometer with a metal probe that goes into food, or a stick-on thermometer, you can use those to measure the temperature of the water. I didn't use one in my experiment, but I'll show you how you can use one a little later. The first thing you'll need to do is fill the water bottle to the rim with water. You can add a few drops of food coloring to make the water more visible, but it's not required. Now wrap the straw with clay, leaving a few inches of straw above and below the clay. Be careful not to squeeze the straw closed. Make sure the clay, putty, or whatever sealant you use fills any gaps between the hole and the straw. Try to keep the straw as close to vertical as possible as you put it into the bottle and seal the top. There are different ways to do this, but the most important thing is to make sure no water can leak out of the bottle. Don't worry if a little water spills as you seal up the top, just have a towel ready to clean it up. If you're going to use a thermometer, now is the time to insert it through the clay. It might look something like this. There should be a little water in the straw above the clay. You'll want to put the water bottle in the spot you plan to add heat, because moving and squeezing the bottle can mess up your measurements. Once you have your spot, use a marking pen to make a line where the water level is. This is where you'll measure from throughout your observations. Now it's time to apply heat. Because different heat sources apply heat with different intensities, it's important to keep watching the water bottle to make sure the heat isn't damaging it. At regular intervals, maybe every minute or every five minutes, depending on how strong the heat source is, measure and record the water level in millimeters starting from the zero mark you made on the straw. If you don't have a ruler, simply observe what's happening to the water level and make a note of it on a piece of paper. If you're using a thermometer, record the temperature at each interval too. There's no specific amount of time to observe and record, but after you've collected enough data to notice a pattern or trend in the water level and temperature, write a description of what you observe in the straw. Graph your measurements on paper or using spreadsheet software if you have any. Think about what happened to the water level as heat energy was added and think about how this relates to increasing global temperatures and sea level rise. For more details on this activity and ideas for more projects you can do at home, visit the URL on the screen or click the link in the video description.